new world that has such creatures in it is new to the What's hot in Hollywood tonight, <clears throat> besides the weather and the tubs? Well, the hottest news in Hollywood today could be star Tony Markham and his new movie, Feet of Fury 4, the latest sequel in his popular action series, which starts shooting next week. But those in the know wonder if the series might be in trouble. Trouble. Sources say that Tony's performance in the last Feet of Fury flick wasn't quite up to speed, and that more retakes were required than usual during the action scenes, mostly due to the star getting winded. Winded? <coughs> Actually, I hope Tony isn't slowing down. He is an appealing and fairly good actor, and he does project a positive image. But it will be up to Tony himself whether we will ever get to see a Feet of Fury 5, or if Hollywood gives this series and its star the boot. Bummer. 
I was hoping to get an even bigger part in number five. I really need to clear my head. Oh! Is there anything I can do to help you clear it? No, honey, I really need to clear it. Thanks. Tony, I'll be at the gym and um, then I think I'll get my hair done. No need to wait up. Oh, and Tony. Don't forget to put in a good word about that. These practice fights are supposed to be painless. The pain's mainly in your brain. It's not my brain that's hurting, Sensei. Just get with the program. Concentrate on what you're doing. Think. Focus. <laughs> and cut that Bruce Lee. Focus on your talents, your strengths. Ready? <laughs> Don't be so predictable. Loosen up. <laughs> Much better. You know, you'd do better if you'd start breathing again. Up to what now? Pack a day? More? Not that bad, Sensei. <sighs> Come on, we all need our crutches. Well, I doubt smoking will help you get rid of those dreams. <sighs> now they're even flashing into my head when I'm awake, putting strange words in my mouth. <sighs> you know, the dreams, it's like... She's calling to me, drawing me to her. This weird face. Get this, a dinosaur. Were you one of those kids that dreamed about being a paleontologist when he grew up? I didn't even see Jurassic Park till it came out on video. Well, we can't let our problems control us. You gotta seek them out, stare them in the face, use your personal strengths to get rid of them. Yeah, if we knew what they were. Want to seek him out. You're creative. You'll do it. Ah, feels good. Tony. Huh? You won't forget, will you? Forget about what? About that little part you promised. Points on the back end. Sure, I'll do it like Sly. Arnold Rutger, if you want, but no more rewrites. Oh, and her name is Daphne Adrian. Thanks. Ciao. Hey, don't forget about me. Well, well, well. Look who's here. If you came to see me get winded, you're a little late. You saw. Yeah, so did my agent, my producer, and about a million fans. OK, bad start. Take two. I'd like to do an interview. Sure. How about the rap party for Feet of Fury 10? Honestly, I like your movies. Really? Really. And I'd like my next piece on you to be, well, more positive, Mr. Markham. Tony. Audrey. Nice to meet you. Anyways, I won't hold you any longer, but if you do change your mind about the interview, here. And uh, my home number's on the back. Do you have a tape recorder with you? Uh, yes, I do. Let's do the interview right now. Get in. Great. I know a nice coffee shop. Bagels, quiet, private, and it's not too far from here. Sounds good. 
But first, I got a bone to pick with a dinosaur. A dinosaur? Are you serious? Do you know where I can find one? So, if it's dinosaurs you want, this is the place to see. How'd you know about this place? I did a story here not too long ago. Who thought I'd be spending my day off hunting for dinosaurs, huh? <laughs> Appreciate it. Listen, I've really got to. Would you please? Uh, sure. We just love you, Tony. And we'd do just about anything. Well, anything legal, of course. Yeah. For just a little, little part. part. No, I'll tell you what, girls. Call the studio and ask for the little parts department. Dinosaur skeletons? No one it was alive. It had some kind of marking on its head, like a lightning bolt. Excuse me. I couldn't help overhearing. You said lightning bolt? So? I'm Dr. Benjamin Michaels. Curator of Vertebrate Paleontology. Karen Forrester, best damn research assistant this side of the Gobi. Mr. Marco? Tony. And this is Audrey Benedict. Hey, even us underpaid scientists have TVs. How do you do? If you don't mind, Tony, there's something I think you might find interesting in the lab. <laughs> That's the genuine article. The one on the mounted skeletons is a fiberglass cast. Somehow I feel like I know him. You wouldn't want to know that dude. He's an Allosaurus, terror of the Jurassic period. 30 feet of appetite and one really bad attitude. Kind of a Jurassic punk. <laughs> Try geriatric punk. That one died of old age. We are not to be disturbed. Now come along with me, Bill This is where the museum stores all the items in its collections that can't be identified or explained. Historical and scientific embarrassments. Uh, it would rather ignore. Mm, but too big to sweep under the rug. These are all uncatalogued items that belong to some weird old collector who died before getting around to saying where he got them. Maka Kika. Maka what? <coughs> Smoker's cough. <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet. God, it's her. Who? Uh, nothing. How nice. A politically correct tribe. But paleontologically incorrect. That skull you saw, those slabs and more, were all carbon dated as less than a million years old. My only explanation is that there once existed a place I call Dinosaur Valley. 
where unknown forces somehow brought together creatures from different times and places. As for Tony's dreams... What's this? Another scientific embarrassment? Oh, that? It's a kind of talisman or icon, I think. Again, no data. Other than it's rumored to have mystical powers to grant wishes, probably the usual three. We gotta seek them out, stare them in the face. Seek them, stare. to meet a vegetarian. Bon appetit, big guy. Whatever they name you someday. Hi, guys. <laughs> Sensei? Big Mac! Huh? Big Mac. Oh, I get it. Uh, me, Tony. My lord. What for? Bromo. Bromo. Mepmo. Let's be mature about this. 
Oh. I'm one of you guys. I'm a third degree black belt. Not only that, I doubled for Van Damme. Van Damme? Van Damme? Yeah, right. Van Damme? Kaza! 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 Urso! Kaza! Urso! Kaza! Kaza! Pretty darn person. Yeah. Bottle gum. Is that thing loaded? Look, I'm not gonna hurt you. Hey, I'm a nice guy. I'm really very sensitive. See? circle.
Tether. Tether. I'm Tony. 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 For sure. Right. Uh, I don't think this is exactly the right time for introductions. Santa.
appliances. Guess you don't have a fax machine, right? <laughs> so, uh, where are the men, or is, is this a prehistoric sorority house? Not that I mind, but... Hi. Ne! <laughs> ne! Zook gum. Zook gum? Yeah, 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 I'm a zook gum. Yeah, but you can call me Tony. Tony. Tony? Yeah. Tony. Tony? Ghana. Ghana zook. Tony. Lula. Tony? Hey! Hey, hey, girls, easy. I got this on Rodeo Drive. Fine, you want to take it. Keep it. Nezuk! Tammy, Michelle, Brandy, Buffy, Debbie, Bambi. I think I love you. Uh, nice meeting everybody. But I wanna know for sure. Tony, Heather Gum? I love you. <laughs> Tony! Where are we going? This looks familiar. Heather. Lula. Heather. Tony Lula. Heather. Tammy? Tommy. Tommy. Got real talent, kid. <laughs> Stick with it. This will probably be worth a few bucks someday. Tony. Gonna. Gonna. Oh, oh, you want to add me to your gallery? You're gonna have to check with my manager. Huh? <laughs> Never mind. Gonna. Sure, why not? It'll probably drive some scientist wacky a million years from now. See ya. Come! Huh? Back at that hey. Take it easy, lady. Nezu come! Back at that guy! Rook kill! Ushalam! This would be a really good time to put in a good word for me. Roquel, Makadaka Tony, Makadaka Hedor. Zukam. Zukam. Zukam? Yeah, 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 Zukam. Ushalam. Lula Tony. Lula? Maka Lula. Zook. Tuka tuka. Tuka tuka. Tuka tuka. Whatever. Tuka tuka.
I don't have to ask my key or yours. Heather, Lula Tony, Makalula Tony, Tony, Makalula, Heather, for a very long time. It's called a kiss. Understand. Lam, Lam. Oh, you mean girlfriends? Do I have a girlfriend? <laughs> yeah, thousands. <laughs> oh, no, Heather, I was kidding. It was a joke. Tony, no Lam, no Lam. Nay, Big Mac. Mac, Mac. 
This is no smoking section. Tony Yama, ah, Makane Su, Tony Yama, oh, Kaza. Sorry, I haven't had one in over a million years. Volcano. Guess you and I smokers are the same at any age. Clues of many an ancient clash Preserved by pebbly sand and mud And late Jurassic sediments The Morrison formation A record of the Allosaurus Prince of all predation A yard long head with three inch teeth Small horns above his eyes At least 30 feet from front to back Scares creatures twice his size Balanced by his long stiff tail He's got some attitude Strutting fast on bird-like feet, he's one bad half version, horse tails growing round. Sniffing out the scent of prey with which his world abounds. Sauropods with serpent necks look down and spot him coming. Hope a crack of whiplash tail will send the hunter running. Stegosaurs with spiked up tails may do some deadly damage. But more than not, his fangs and claws create their crimson carnage. Jurassic Pong! Jurassic Pong! Allosaurus prowls, he craves a meal, perceives his prey, his hungry stomach growls. An unsuspecting Camptosaur is browsing on all fours. A flash of teeth, a slash of claws, there's one less dinosaur. Jurassic Pong, Jurassic Pong, he takes the lead, he's out to feed. Jurassic Pong, Jurassic Pong. And three big claws he tears through hide and muscle Then pressing hard with talon feet He quickly ends the tussle His head just down on hawk-like neck He's clearly number one He gulps his food and feeds again Tony? Huh? Yamaganta? No, I'm not running away It's called jogging Jog... King? Right. It's something guys like me have to do to stay in shape. Something you'll never have to worry about. 
I mean, besides, I'm gonna be fighting cave goons and allosaurs. I'm gonna need to be in the best shape I can be. <laughs> Smoker's cough. Do you remember what I taught you? Tony. Guy. That's right. <laughs> You're very quick with dialogue. I know a lot of directors in the business that'd love to work with you. Boob? <laughs> I think you mean babe. See, where I come from, there are a lot of babes, like Daphne, whose sole mission in life is to try and get me to get them into my movies. Movies. But you're not like them. You make me feel almost like I don't even care if I get that icon back. Strong. Don't tell me you still taste those cigarettes. Hike? <laughs> this is as good a time as any to quit smoking. Huh? Hey, I don't know about this. Tuka-tuka? No. Tony Makalula Heather. Take cover, run! Yama, Yama! <laughs> Much better. Mekmo Santa Gu Aushagom Gutawa. Gum Aushagom. Lom Mekmo Chok Lom Gutawa. Lom Gutawa. Rokel? Yeah, Mekmo Chok. Santa, Santa, Santa. Yama? Yeah. Ah, Rokel Yukawa. Ah. Mark, Mark! Nee. Mark, Mark, Chak Longutawa. Mark, Mark! Russo Lula Rokel. Tuka, Tuka. Tuka, Tuka Rokel.
think I thought I could never survive without Carl waiting. Tony. Like? Tony. Maka like. Tony. Maka love Heather. More than I ever thought possible. Zook. Tony. Kiss? Zaza Tony. where the heart is. The mind's right here. Nah. Doesn't take Einstein to figure out what happened here. Big Mac. Gantagam Gutawa. Dakane Zukam. Heather, look, I may not be a real hero, but I've played enough of them to know when the odds are against you, you make a plan. I don't know what this stuff can do, but we'll soon find out. Big Mac is a disease, and I'm the cure. Okay, Gaga.
Tony's arrived. Tony! Michelle! Bambi! Hey! Rory! Makalula, Raquel, kisses. Ushaka, Urso? For sure. Say a million years from now, the times they are changing. What do you say, Big Mac? Time to bury the hatchet? Figuratively, of course. Salted Big Mac. Bogo. Come on, you overstuffed alligator bag. I'm your worst nightmare. At least something good came from smoking. Go ahead, Barney. Make my day.
Batista Dino. Talk about this like civilized people? I could never believe that such things were possible. But there must be a logical explanation. Right, Doctor. Like we've all lost our minds. I'd say it was just an hallucination if all three of us hadn't seen him disappear. <sighs> While we're fishing for explanations, <sighs> Playing this puppy. I guess I wasn't dreaming after all. If you were, so were we. You literally vanished for five whole minutes. Only five minutes? All right, time, space, it's all relative. Hey, look, I need guns, big guns. Guns? Guns. Uh, this is a museum, not some kind of dinosaur theme park. This is gonna make one hot story. So how did you do it, Mr. Markham? Smoke and mirrors? Mass hypnosis, virtual reality. How about real reality? Oh, and I need matches, a lot of matches. Well, here, but please remember, this is a non-smoking museum. I just hope these last me until I get the hang of it. Tony, the artifacts? Oh, yes, stuff dreams are made of. Please. It's museum property. I'm sorry, Dr. Michaels. I still have one wish left. Besides, you'll probably dig it up again someday. Tony! 
Big Mac, Makadaka, Tuka Tuka La! Big Mac, Long Gone! <laughs> So what's it gonna be, big guy? Holy, holy. <laughs> <laughs> Unexplained absence. Feet of Fury 4 has been recast with a female in the lead, relative newcomer Daphne Adrian in her first starring role. Until now, Ms. Adrian has been. Three wishes. I go forth. I don't need a magic icon to make that come true. has such creatures in it. It is new to be here. But you 